All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another day here. You guys see we are at a storage facility. I was here. Whoa, what's that? Oh, that's that. Take that thing out. Wow, it's chilly out here. A little cold one. Uh, we are out here at a storage facility. I bought a storage unit here for $5. Very, very shocked we got for that. Such a cheap amount. Very happy I got it for only five bucks. Um, but yeah, I paid $5 for the storage unit. There is a lot of furniture in it. I was at an auction here. If you guys haven't checked out my auction video, I included it with a trash picking video probably, what, two days ago? Um, so check that out. I bought this unit here for $5. Oh no, I bought that unit for $5. If you've ever been curious what a storage auction video or a storage auction unit looks like, this one went up um, and I purchased it at auction. I'll show you exactly what we find. I know it's going to be a lot of work. It's uh, There's some mattresses on the left. I think there's a couch in there. I figured for five bucks, you really can't lose out on it. It'll probably take me two days to clean out, but I'll try to keep all the fun parts, all the interesting parts into this video. It won't bore you with like driving back and forth with, you know, dropping off a couch, putting in a storage, throwing it to the dump. I'll save all that for uh, the outtakes. Uh, but yeah, we'll sh uh, we'll check out what we got here. Hopefully it was a good unit for, for five bucks. You really can't go wrong. Let's see what you found. Let's see what we bought. Let's do it. All right, I just noticed also we just had a bunch of snow here recently and uh, you might be able to hear a bunch of raindrops or drops. That's all the snow melting off the top of the roof. So I'll probably throw my hood up here in a bit, but I uh, bought this unit. That's my lock. Throw it like that. All right. Moment of truth. All right. Doesn't look too bad from out here. All right, so although this looks really, really promising like this for $5, you see some boxes, you see some furniture, you see some mattresses, but you're like, eh, the mattresses are, oh, I see, I didn't notice there was a, oh no. I thought that was a fabulous piece of art. Oh. There we go. You know what? It doesn't look that bad on camera. So I did pay $5 for this. The reason why it sold so cheap you have two mattresses, which are a huge deterring factor. That might be a box spring, not sure. Um, you have a couch as well. And almost everything over here is just press board furniture. So um, I bought it for $5. The reason why is because I see like four or five boxes. We'll see what's inside there. Don't know what's in the corner. It was also raining. Oh, geez. It was also raining and snowing. So I actually could not even really see what that was. I just saw it was a glass piece. But we have a bunch of mystery boxes, which are always fun. Let's dig in and see what we got here. All right, so you gotta. All right, well, get some of that. Oh, you know, move my van up. Hopefully, it won't block the uh, the light. But broken hammer, not a good start, and a bunch of telephone wire. Okay, so I took off that box that was on top of here. What do we have in this bin? Looks like just a couple things of clothes. Some paperwork. Ooh, what is this? Uh-oh! There we go. Who knows if this thing works, though? Nintendo DS. Been finding a bunch of these. This also has a game inside it. Oh, DS Lite. I don't know much about the DS. I stopped uh, I stopped kind of playing video games a while back. So, DS Lite. That's got to be a good find. What's all this? Paperwork. Another sweatshirt. Does that say Keen State? Keen State. I don't even know what Keen State is. Alright. And we got a... Sports jersey here, small, looks like a youth, yeah, youth, uh, Eli Manning, New York Giants jersey. So that's not a bad, I mean, between these two things, you got your five bucks back. I'm not up to date with my DS, uh, DS systems, but I gotta imagine it's at least $20. So, not bad. 
thought that'd be all garbage in there, but we got some decent things. Probably can see a little bit better. Probably see a little bit better in the light. Alright, that's that. I wish we could redirect this water because it's kind of kind of cold. Got two lamps. And what looks like I want to say crystal glass, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It's pressed glass or something. what this is it looks like almost like oh it is a stand it's a table I say it looked like a router table well, it's not so one thing that did intrigue me was this I don't think it's that intriguing it's not huh so when I was a kid, I had a very similar binder to this, but it was for sports cards. This one is just a binder of paper. Let's see what else is. We have a DVD, so that's good. This is a tablet. It feels empty. Uh, got CDs down there. Knock off movies. So I got a DVD, paperwork, a Bible, it's more of that. It's more paperwork in there. That's empty. VHS's. All right. Well, one thing I generally notice from these storage units. One thing I generally notice from these storage units is, or storage unit videos at least, is every time I make them, everyone likes to determine what happened to their previous owner. Uh, what I've noticed with storage units like this, where you have tons of uh, bathroom supplies, toothpaste, shampoo, uh, in some cases what happens is the previous owner who owned this property, personal property, never actually rented this unit. This is a tenant, or this is the landlord, and he takes all the stuff that if they get evicted, they throw it into one of these units. So this person doesn't even really know it's in here because they owe X amount of money to the previous owner. Uh, and realistically, this is just something that the landlord had to either throw out or throw into a storage unit. The reason why I say that is because mostly a lot of people wouldn't store this kind of stuff in your storage unit. Like empty boxes of ointment, half-used shampoo bottles. This is empty. So generally they just take everything out of the apartment or house and throw it into a storage unit. So something like this, all this kind of stuff, although some of it might be good, I generally try to throw away or recycle. And the reason why is because I don't want somebody to get a rash or something from all this kind of stuff and using this. Take this bin down before it falls down. Oh, it's got weight. Oh. Alright. Thought this bin would be all closed. Let's make sure it closed. We got clothes. Clothes. Paperwork. Plates, some interesting VHSs. Let's, uh, let's cover those VHSs up. I don't know what those are. Looks like all cleaning supplies. What is this? Cumex.
Alright. Nothing there. Looks like just cardboard. Alright, we're going to work up there. That red bag up there, I put up there because it's all a like personal paperwork that I got to bring back to the office. We'll see what's inside here. These are placemats. I'm not sure what this is. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Steam dry iron. All right. nice lamp we have here. Don't know, don't know if it's worth anything. It's kind of a nice lamp, don't you think? Wildlife Explorer. <laughs> Just bringing back a lot of memories to like elementary school. Is that what came inside here? Probably. It's a good box. I don't. I don't know if that Wildlife Explorer is really worth much. I think what I'm. I think what I'm going to end up doing is try to push like all like the box lots and stuff to the left. Um, and then probably tomorrow I'll take all the furniture away. That way you guys all see what's in here in one video rather than make two videos and like kind of just like fill in space with baloney. We got a bag here. Not sure what that is. We got a GameStop bag. GameStop is uh, a touchy subject right now, but we have a GameStop bag. Alright. This says 14 karat gold. At least that's what the, uh, the case says. It's a name. Now, when it comes to these storage units, the things a lot of people look for is either jewelry, money, guns, uh, video games, tools. That might not be gold. Oh, nope, that, that's gold. I really hope that says something that's not GF, not GF, uh, something else. What we got here? All right, yep, that's 14K. That's marked 14K on that side. You're not gonna be able to see that. It's also broken, like it's been cut right down the middle, which probably isn't great. I don't, that might be gold. Got some cufflinks here, which might be silver. Uh, that's just a pin. Like, don't they all look like pearls to you? I'm not a jewelry guy. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and pretend I know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to just go ahead and say. All right. Oh. That might be more gold. That's probably nothing. It's a random pearl. Um, I probably should have brought a plastic bag to put this stuff in. 
That small ring, in terms of like scrap value, I would say it's probably like 30 bucks maybe, 30, 40 bucks. It doesn't weigh like anything. All right, so I picked up this bag that was on the floor down there. So far, pulled out <laughs> nice fanny pack. This, I think, is just like a satchel thing. You got to make sure to open up every uh, every zipper. This I'll probably keep. Looks like just bags inside here. Yeah, just more bags. It's a picture of yourself. I think every storage unit is good for a box of Tupperware. It's some Corningware, it's not too bad. That one unit, we found that really good Pyrex piece. Speaking of Pyrex, here's a lid for Pyrex. Wonder if the bowl's in here. Oh, there. <laughs> it's sticking right out on you. Is that, that looks like the lid for it. You're always good for one good piece of Pyrex. This one's not worth too much. It's your Amish butter print. I'm pretty confident that's the lid for it. Actually, I wish it wasn't. That way it probably means that there's more in here. That looks like the lid for that. Uh, that, like, flea market price is like five bucks. Oh. There's more. Don't tell me the whole set's in here. I don't know the whole set is. I'm not like, I'm not too up to date on my Pyrex. This is Corningware. Yes, that's Corningware. I haven't really seen that pattern of Corningware, but generally I get about a dollar a piece. That I think is the next size up for that Amish butter print. So I say every time you buy these units, you're always good for some Tupperware. There's another piece of that Corningware. I'm taking this out because a lot of this stuff, like this for example, I can't even get 50 cents for. But the Corningware, I get a buck a piece for. The older Tupperware, not the new Tupperware, but the older Tupperware, you can do all right with. This feels... Imagine this whole thing was filled with this. This, I believe, is your spring blossom. If this whole thing was filled with Pyrex, this box right here would probably be worth a couple hundred dollars, depending on what print you have. And it's all Amish butter, butter print. I've seen someone listing online, I think it was like 40 pieces. They're asking $1,200 for it. Uh, it's insane what some of this stuff goes for. Sadly, mugs are not worth too much. Another mug, another glass piece, some more Tupperware, uh, that's for if you cook, which I don't know much about. That's... Alright, it's not looking like there's any more to any of that, but I'll have to go through this another time. Project, wow, that thing is heavy. All right, well, we got ourselves a milk crate here, which I'll put the Pyrex in. And the corning where I'll probably even put the... What? All right, then. You talk about scaring the living heck out of you. That scared me pretty good. Probably what I'll end up doing is throwing these Pyrex pieces up front. That way, <laughs> that way, when I saw this for five dollars, I make my money back on this unit. All right, found this mystery suitcase in the storage locker. Feels like there's something in it. 
And we got stuff in it. Whole collection of belts and or, uh, belts and uh, ties. Are there any names on these ties? Is a question. They do smell old. Uh, John Henry. Boomer. I don't know what Boomer is. Tell you what, we're into like older style clothes. Might be something in there. Some older trousers. Not sure what's in here. This pencil's kind of cool. Buy a storage unit. Stay around for the pencil. It's got Snoopy all over it. Right down on top? No. Looks like we have more of this Corel cleaning wear stuff, and that's exactly what it is. This is probably going to be thrown for some hundred. And by saying that, it's probably worth five million dollars out of nowhere. Is that a no? I thought that was a refrigerator dish lid. This is legit a whole set of this Corel Spring Blossom, whatever you like to call it. Corning Ware, this is Gemco. I haven't seen this thing ever. This sugar thing? That might be worth some money. Sometimes odds and ends like that are worth a ton of money, whereas like a bowl would, or a bowl or something, those are casters. A bowl would be worth, I don't know, four of them, ten bucks on eBay. This could be worth like twenty-five dollars on eBay. I will have to go through all that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boom shakalaka. Let's not drop this. I will have to go through this whole box. I know some people probably aren't too appealed by Pyrex. Um, so I'm probably going to have to go through a whole box another time, but you guys see what it is. It's corning wear. We got some Pyrex pieces. If I find that, uh. If I find the happy or lucky, lucky and love piece that's worth like three grand, I'll let you guys know. Make sure to subscribe down below to see that piece in the future. If I find it, if not, just subscribe down below anyway. These things are fun to do. Treasure hunts all the time. Moving right along here. I might probably just show up these. I wish I could move this couch. My plan is tomorrow I'll come back and take all the garbage. So we're going to load the van up with like a couch right now and create a whole hassle. Probably gonna just do that tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. I'm not sure if I'll record just like clean out the rest of this because it's probably not too exciting. But if you like it, drop a comment down below. We have that smells so bad. We have a pillow. And yeah, another pillow. Um, I swear if this is more cookware. Oh no, we got hey yo. Something a little different. Wow, that couch reeks. Got some dolls. It's upside down, of course. A little figurine. Where's that doll? A couple of dollars here. I don't know if these are worth anything. I don't know if these are hundred dollar dolls or a dollar doll. I will have to research that. At the bottom, made in China, plastic glass. It's not a bad flea market box there. All right, so I won't bore you with anything on the right side. It looks like we have it pretty much cleared out. We have some lampshades. There's stuff back there. It looks like uh, kitchen stuff, almost baking powder maybe. I don't see anything else too exciting back there. More cups up there. And we got a fan, but over there we're pretty much done. more of this 
set. This is so. I think this uh, this is Spring Blossom or Crazy Daisy from Pyrex. You'll see on the bottom. Well, you can't see really. And uh, no, you're not gonna be able to see. Uh, but the Corel and Pyrex kind of go hand in hand, like around this era. So you'll see some pieces are Corel, some are Pyrex. This is Pyrex. You'll see it's more like a like a milk glass. Um, these are worth a little bit more, but not the most desirable set. But I think we have almost the uh, the whole set by now. All right, moving in the corner. There's more chairs over there. Those are also chairs. These are also chairs. These are those vintage chairs, which might go to this table. Possibly. We got this mystery bag here. Nothing. Empty. Empty. Alright. Uh, so the rest of the stuff in here. That airplane again. Man, spending a lot of money on fuel. That's empty. This is the pillow that goes on top of that, so I'll just throw it over there. Suitcase feels like it has something in it. Oh, don't tell me it's one of those that has a lock. It does. It has to. Because as a... Oh boy. Unboxing. So I can't... I don't have the tools here to open that thing. This thing's extremely heavy. Oh, maybe they turn. <laughs> God, I'm such a noob. Oh, how are you going to do this? You can't see that. Alright. Huh. Okay, I thought it'd be gold and stuff. Looks like it's just. Plastic. Although it feels like the storage unit grew and there's more stuff, that's just all furniture over there. So that's the last one that's down there. This whole thing, which I thought would all be stacks of boxes, is actually just chairs. And that, I believe, is a uh, umbrella. I really hope this isn't, you know what. Well, it's better than what I thought it might be. That's just some screws. I think there's a... No. Do I say you think there's a ring in here? It's not. Got bamboozled. Does it look like pieces of some game? Ever need any vintage remotes? Maybe we have something here. Paper Mario for Nintendo Game Theory. Moment of truth. She is! Hey, there she is. Next one, NBA Street. Or PS2, not worth as much. Hey, she's in there. Alright, so that's boxing. Let's see, I think this is going to stay the twist. There we go. Twist that way. There we go, twist that way. Uh-oh. see it. Oh, jeez, can't even see it. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. Yeah. That 
I don't know if that might be. Designer bags. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. We got a Rolling Stones. That looks like that's about it. We got some wire. Is this a Zippo? It is a Zippo. I think it's a new Zippo. Alright, a lot of baseball here. <laughs> yep, it's one of those. Good old Tony the Tiger. I thought it might be a Babe Ruth signed baseball. Then we have an empty, uh, empty tin. So, kind of cool. We got the Zippo lighter here. Alright, we gotta grab these two games and I'll probably put them away also. Um, but that's going to wrap it up here for this storage unit. I won't bore you guys with cleaning out the rest of this. It's not going to be exciting loading chairs and loading this mattress. But I went through all the box slots. I went through that. This was the one that had just the uh, screws. But overall a very, very fun unit. This should probably take me about an hour to clean out the rest of this. I've probably been here about two and a half hours, three hours. Probably taking another hour to unload all that. Drive where I need to drive. Throw another hour on it. Getting kind of cold around here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed geese. Hopefully you guys enjoyed geese. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you guys want to see more storage auction video, storage auction cleanouts just like this, I will have to get the rest of this out. That's part of the whole bargain with getting it cheap is you still got to take it all. Um, but I'll clean it out tomorrow. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, hit the like button and subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. There will be plenty more here going on through the rest of the year, especially in the summer. We're going to hit up a bunch of them, so that airplane. I've had enough. This has been a blast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time for our next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.